straight in behind. Moore's the fullback there as well, but it'll be McMenamin off the back for Kitty Tapu Demunt. And that's the easiest ball for her sister, Ruahe. Early pressure towels and Auckland score in the opening three minutes. And it's fallen back on the Auckland side. Ball popped out and Mali Epo, that kick's charged. Picked up by Winniata. They'll struggle to stop it in there. The footwork of Salika Winniata. An opportunist try. And the Manawatu veteran goes in under the posts. Oh, big shove from Auckland. And it's on all sorts of trouble. The Manawatu scrum, they somehow have got it out of there. Olsen Baker did brilliantly well. So Vaughan... Now charging through midfield, Auckland slipping off tackles and Janet Vaughan's going to take on Moore as a fullback. Janet Vaughan, too much strength, too much power. And Manawatu hit the front. Nelson, just half a metre short of the line. This is danger signs here for Manawatu. Auckland, and it is McMenamin, easy as you like, just crashing over, too close to the line, you're not stopping Charmaine McMenamin from there, so that was just and in her 50th match for Auckland, in. scores, this could be hard to stop though if this throw finds its target, and it does with Charmaine Smith, they drive on the Black Ferns lock, it's tucked in the back, with Torfa, Christo Torfa, and they're just going to roll towards the line here, Auckland, that is clinical, forward play, Manawatu, no chance of stopping that. Bunnage over. And now keeping it alive, Auckland into the hands of Thompson. Ball out the back, and they're going to create some problems here up the middle for Uahe Demand. Looking for a support is there, and Alicia Pill Nelson instead she finds Smith. Smith's got Norman Bell outside, and Nyla Norman Bell is going to finish the breakout move. Uahe Demand going up through the middle, finished out wide. Demand. Ruahe demand, and here's Naomi Purcell, just hangs on. She's big and powerful, running through in midfield. The support play is there. Ruahe demand. They're busting them open up the middle. Oh, she did well to hold on to that. And now numbers wide demand. As the penalty advantage goes the way of Auckland. They've got a lot of space. McMenamin, and here is Elliot. She's quick, she's got good footwork, and that's too easy, swerving around the outside. And Princess Elliot does score before half time for Auckland. Well, they've got to drive on here. McMenamin's got it controlled in the back. And they'll go once more. It is McMenamin out of the boot. And a metre out from the try line. Blackwell driven sideways. Miley Airport Moores. Natalia Moores reaches out and Moores scores. And the airport cut out ball for McMenamin, ranging wide in midfield, shrugs off Vaughan, holds on to the ball, goes herself. She's got Naomi Purcell. Naomi Purcell being chased down by Mays. Good cover by Crystal Mays. And then trying to get up and rip the ball away. But there's too many numbers in the end for Auckland. The big bust up field by Charmaine McMenamin. And it's finished in the corner by Dana Ankerville. And they want to get on with things. Why not? Brown and Winniata play quickly, upping the tempo towards the end. The show and going through the line and then the swerve. And that is absolutely vintage. Salika Winniata. Auckland's defence don't want to concede. Winniata. Claridge, she's got Vaughan outside her, and surely this time, Jenna Vaughan, oh, she gets it down eventually. Almost spun around and held up by Princess Elliot, and so Manawatu, it could be important in the grand scheme of things at the end. They get their fourth try, they get a bonus point, really. It has been Auckland's day by some margin, and they take a big win. And a big step towards a home semi-final, perhaps 50 points to 26 in Palmerston North.